Check it, uh. Every day we're getting it. Hey, hey, check it, uh, uh. Put the place up, yeah, we know what we made of. Can't get enough for you, boo, I'm a chaser. Face up, now I feel a little major. Blink of an eye, ego, I'm a taker, shaker. Yeah, she was a born shaker. She shake me out that door to no place. Damn, why you doing all that? Thought you was my wife, but you stabbed me in the back. Something like a rose when we came out there. We settled facts like Da Vinci. I'm breaking codes, so breaking backs. Come on, get your eyes up if you're slipping. Put another smile like it was the last Christmas. Yeah. Okay, you guys, so these are the planks now that I have painted them and wood grained them. It took me a minute to get the kind of color that I like. I'm not sure if this is the color that I would use in the living room, but there it is there. So these have to dry. Okay, so I'm getting ready to go in and attempt to lay down my paper planks. There are so many different tutorials out there and blogs out there at this point. Like, I feel like I'm starting to get mixed up in the instructions for how to do this. So I'm going to mix my glue solution. And for concrete floors, it's looking like that glue solution is a 50-50 mix of part glue, part water, as opposed to the 3 to 1 ratio if you're putting it over, I think, like wood subfloors or I don't know, perhaps even something else like linoleum, which I want to check because I think that I might want to put this over the bathroom floor if it does well. I actually think I might want to put it over the bathroom floor, period, just to go ahead and debunk whether or not you can do it on linoleum and it looks right and or whether or not you can. So I'm going to mix my glue and I'm going to get started with that part. So it's just regular Elmer's glue all, um, multi-purpose glue, and this was about $11, I think, at Lowe's, and it's a big, huge one. So I'm just gonna start with two cups. I have no idea how much of this I even need to mix. this bucket with my glue mix in it. I have this bucket for squeezing out the planks and putting the excess liquid glue concoction into. And my battery's dying, so I need to charge that. And then we're gonna start this floor project. Okay, so this is the concrete currently. And these are my wood planks. They've been drying overnight. So they're all ready to go. I just watched another tutorial again, so I'm gonna try this and let's see what it do. So the first thing I'm gonna do is paint my poly onto the cement first because apparently that is what will help it stick. Let's get started. Okay, so the very first coat of poly plus stain is on and the stain is in the color honey. Um, and so this was just a layer that's supposed to help the paper stick better to the pure concrete as opposed to if you were doing it on wood. So this is gonna dry and then come back and I can get started with laying the paper planks. Okay guys, so I got my first set of paper down and I'm not happy. <laughs> but only because there's like wrinkles in it. And so as, it seems like as much as I tried to smooth it out, whether with my hand 
or with the brush and it seems like smoothing it with my hand does better than smoothing it with the brush but then as it begins to start drying and as I moved further down it started wrinkling even more one blog that I read says that if there's wrinkles that won't go away after it dries that she just put more glue over the top and did her best to flatten the wrinkles um, as best she could before you put the seal on it so I will probably attempt to do that when the whole thing dries, so I'm just gonna let it dry now and see. Definitely, you can't step back on it, lean back on it, or anything, like, at all, because I accidentally put my knee on a part of it, and yeah, like, part of the paper came up with my pant leg, <laughs> so, um, that didn't really work, so I was like, oh shoot, and then for a second I was like, I'm gonna step on it very, very gently, yeah, no, like, nothing on it after it goes down. The little wrinkles and bubbles that are starting to come up as it's drying are kind of like disappointing I guess but I'm assuming the final product will be okay. I hope the final product is okay. And what it almost seems like is that the planks were just maybe way too saturated with glue and that's why like they had too much glue in them and I don't know I think I saw something that also said to use a like a squeegee or one of those uh like scraper not a scraper but one of those plastic kind of tools that you would use to maybe like squeegee out water or something like that to kind of get any excess glue from underneath out and perhaps maybe that's what's making it bubble up to um I'm not really sure my battery died so I wasn't able to kind of go through the laying on process unfortunately today um but of course when I get ready to do the other floor I will so let me show you what's up so you can see right there where some of the lumps are and then this one plank back here is like really bad. This one. That's like the worst one out of all of them. So it was getting really wrinkly and then as I got here it started getting better. <laughs> but it kind of looks like wood floor, no? Good morning. So, my floor is down. My poly shades went on. It's still a little bit sticky. I think that's the one that everybody said is not going to dry completely. So I'm ready to go in with my clear coat, my top coat of polyurethane. It's going to take several coats of that. So I'll be putting it on, drying it for two hours, putting some more on, drying it for two hours, and then so on and so forth. So my laundry room is out of commission again today. Access to the garage is out of commission today. But the floor looks nice. So I hope it holds up. It looks really good. Like legitimately, it looks like some uh, floor. There's a couple of like little wrinkles in it still, but I'm hoping that once everything goes over and then I sand the first batch and do it, it should be good. Let's get started on today's DIY project. One of the tutorials that I saw, they took their paintbrush and put it on the end of a broom so that I don't have to be down on my hands and knees. So Hubs hooked my stick up here. Put you guys on the tripod. So here's what it's looking like so far. It already has one coat of the poly shades, which is a stain mixed with polyacrylic. So let's get to it. Okay, first coat of poly is on. Okay, so coat one of the polyacrylic is done. It's down, it's been two hours. It is dry, basically. So I'm ready to go over it with the second coat. 